So, uh, in the spirit of uh, getting the channel resuscitated, I'm doing all these uh, shorts, and uh, pretty much this one's going to be on the inner fender and the attachment point. Um, I figure that while I'm putting the rest of this thing together uh, to go over these things where they're very minute, so these are gonna be very short videos. Uh, I mentioned it in a previous video, but I'm not sure if I uploaded it or if I'm gonna have to upload it. So here we go. Uh, so you have uh, four 15 millimeter bolts, like that one. There's one here, there's one at the bottom here. This one's not on because I'm missing the, the little insert. I gotta go to Fastenal and get it. Uh, it's kind of like that one right there. Um, then you have one more here, one there, and that's actually five. So that's five of these uh, 15, mill 15 millimeter bolts. Um, then you're gonna have two more bolts up here at the front. Uh, I believe they were 15 millimeters as well, uh, do not recall. And then you have a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts uh, across the top. Um, if you had the header panel in, there'd be a bracket here with two more bolts that go towards the, not the header panel, the radiator uh, support. There'd be two more bolts here. Uh, you can see them better on that side, one and two. There'd be a bracket going that way towards the radiator support, um, which the radiator support is attached to the frame through these holes for the motor mounts or, man, body mounts. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, then you have some, uh, 10 millimeter bolts here that go to the inside of the fender. Um, uh, and, uh, I think that's it. Uh, on the inside, you're going to have, I believe it's another six or five, uh, like this, but I cut everything here in the middle because of how low my car sits. Uh, but you can see here some of the placements. And the light's not making it any better, so let's not use the light. Um, so yeah, if you ever need to remove your fender, you can actually do it with everything on. Uh, actually, no, you can't because the header panel has two bolts going into the front of the fender. Um, so I mean, you can, but it, you might have to. You might be better off removing the header panel. But anyways. Um, yeah, I think I already mentioned there's 10 millimeter bolts all across the top that hold the top of the fender in. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you cannot get to all of these inner liner bolts from the inside. I mean, you could if you really tried with uh, some special tools and a lot of extensions and uh, swivels. Uh, but I think it's easier to just remove the whole fender as a thing uh like i did on that on that side i don't know if you saw it in a previous video but that one um actually no it was this one i never took the liner off and uh, i kept test fitting it back and forth with the liner on uh there's another bolt down there that holds the liner in place um but yeah so again while i had this out i figured that i go through through some of these fasteners uh just in case somebody's trying to replace a fender or whatever um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Hit the like button.